Good day everyone, I am Jo Maria Asis Aranya from B84A FSM. I am here to report about Chapter 6, Last Set. Guidelines of Easement Easements As it is situated outside of private property limits, the easement is public land, example, public domain, that should be equally enjoyed by all members of the community. The easement is not to be used for any form of building or structure that may go against its public recreational character such as the following uses and other similar there, there to are absolutely prohibited. A. Residential and like uses whether temporary or permanent. B. Long term, long term or overnight vehicle parking, example, unless Jul July designated as day or night pay parking zones. C. As a depository or of stalled, wrecked or abandoned vehicles, mechanically, devices, and the like. D. The conduct of specific commercial institution or industrial activities not compatible with its started character. E. Unauthorized recreational or ent entertainment usage and the like which will only benefit certain entities and which will ultim ultimately result in inconvenience, nuisance, safety problems to the general public. F. Any other form of private use, gain, enjoyment, or profit at the expense of monitoring or walking public. Allowed or encourage structures or developments within easements. If wider than 9 meters, the easement may include a roadway or a car carriageway components on which vehicle can pass on the which the same may temporarily park, example, an escapade and the like pedestrian access ways and the like and to be located above below the easement may may also develop for public use example a promenade and the like the law of enhanced mobility or disabled persons pwd laws law batas pambansa building 3.3 pedestrian access ways, and the like, and to be located at above, below, the easement may also be developed for public use. Example, a promenade, and the like. The Law of Enhanced Mobility of Disabled Person, PWD Law, Batas Pabansa, Bil Building 344, an act to enhance the mobility of disabled persons by requiring certain buildings, institution, establish, establishment, and public utilities to install facilities and other devices. Rule 2 Minimum Requirements for Accessibility 1. Categories of Disabled Person A. Impairment requirement requiring con confinement to wheelchair or B. Impairments causing difficulty or insecurity in walking or climbing stairs or requiring the use of braces, crutches, or other artificial supports, or impairment, impairments caused by amputation, arthritis, spastic, spastic conditions, or pulmonar. C. Total or partial impairment of hearing or sight causing insecurities or likelihood of exposure to danger in public places. D. Mental whether acquired or congenital genital in nature 2 basic planning requirements a accessibility the built environmental environment shall be designed so that it shall be accessible to all people b reachability provisions shall be adapted and introduced to the physical environment c usability the built environment shall be designed to allow the disabled city center participate and contribute to developmental goals. D. Orientation finding a person's way inside and outside of a building or open space shall be made easy for everyone. E. 
safety designing for safety ensures that people should be able to move about less hazard to life and health. F. Workability and efficiency. The built environment shall be designed to allow the disabled citizens to participate and contribute to the developmental goals. Outside and around buildings. Drop curbs. A. Changes in le level at walkways shall be affected by sight. Outside and around buildings. Drop curbs. A. Changes in level at walkways shall be affected by the slight ramp and drop curbs. B. Drop curbs shall be for should be provided at pedestrian crossing and at, and at the end of footpaths of a private street, street or access road. C. Drop curbs shall be slow, slope toward the road with a maximum cross gradient of 120 to collecting at the walkway. D. The lowest point of the drop curbs should not exceed 5 mm height above the road or gutter. Curb cutouts. A. Curb cutouts should only be available when it not obstruct a walkway or in any way less than the width of a walkway. B. The minimum width a curb cutout should be 0 0.90 meters. Walkways. A. Walkways should be kept as a level as possible and provided with slip resistant material. B. Walkways should have a minimum width of 1.20 meters. C. Walkways headroom should not be less than 2 meters and should preferably, preferably be higher. D. Passageways for the disabled should not be obstructed by street furnitures. Bollards, signposts, or column along the defined road as can be hazardous. Handrails. A. Handrails shall be installed at 0 0.90 meters and 0 0.70 meters above step, steps or ramps. Open spaces. A. Where open spaces are provided, the blind can become particularly disoriented. Therefore, it is it is extremely helpful if any walkways or paths can be given defined edges either by the use of planters. Signages A. Where open spaces are provided, the blind can become particularly disoriented. Therefore, it is extremely helpful if any walkways or edges either by the use of planters. B. Sign should be. B. Sign should be kept, sim kept simply and easy to understand. Made of contrasting colors and gray values to make detection and reading easy. C. Signs on walls and doors should be located at a maximum height of 1.60 meters and a minimum height of 1.40 meters. A. Signages lay labeling public rooms and places should have raised symbols, letters, or numbers with a minimum height of 1 millimeters. Braille symbol should be included in signs indicating public places and safety roads. Parking. A. Parking spaces for the disabled should allow enough space for a person to transfer to a wheelchair from a vehicle. Accessible parking spaces should be located as close as possible to the building entr entrances or to accessible entrances. B. A walkway from accessible spaces or of 1.20 meters clear width shall be provided between the front edges, front ends of parked cars. C. Provide drop curbs or drop curb cut out to the parking level where a accessible walkways are raised. Inside building in structures. Entrances. A. 
at least one entrance to every building should be accessible for arrival and departure. B. In case entrances are not on the same level of the site, arrival grade ramps should be provided as access to the entrance level. C. Entrances with vestibules should be provided a level area with at least a 1.80 meters depth and a 150 meters width. Ramps Changes in level required a ramp except when served by a drop curb, an elevator, or other mechanical device. A. Ramps shall have a minimum clear width of 1.20 meters. B. Hand rails will be provided on the both side of the ramp at 0.70 meters and 0.90 meters from the ramp level. C. Ramps shall equip the curbs on the both sides with minimum height of 0.10 meters. D. Any ramp with a rise greater than 0.20 meters and lets that toward an area here vehicular traffic is possible have a railing across the full width of its lower and not less than 1.50 meters from the foot of the ramp and a ramp with a rise greater than 0.20 meters and lead that towards an area with brick washrooms and toilets in order to aid visually impaired person to readily determine whether a washroom is for men or for women, the signages on men's washroom door should be an equilateral triangle with a vertex pointing upward. For those for women should be a circle. Note, the, total, the totally blind could touch the edges of the sign. It is easily determined whether it is straight or curved. Guidelines and Sidewalks Subject to existing laws and regulation, the local planning authority should determine which street should have an open sidewalks or an ar arcaded or covered sidewalks or a combination of both. The minimum width of the sidewalks The minimum width of the side of the sidewalk for a row width of 9 meters or more shall be 1.20 meters on each side of a row or a total of 2.40 meters on both sides of the row. So that's for my report. Again, I am Jomari Asis Aranya. Thank you for listening.